SDG 15 is about protecting, restoring prom and promoting life on land. That means all terrestrial ecosystems. Terrestrial ecosystems provide goods and raw material that we use for construction, energy, food, but also services, for example, the capture of carbon, maintenance of soil quality, provision of habitats for biodiversity, maintenance of water quality, which contribute to reducing the risks of natural disasters and regulating and maintaining the productivity of agricultural systems. But 60% of the world's ecosystems have been degraded over the past 50 years, and we continue devaluing our natural resources at an alarming rate. One of the most important areas is probably deforestation. While many of the effects are felt locally, first, the long-term consequences are, of course, global. To retain the integrity and vitality of natural resources today and for future generations, and to ensure long-term socioeconomic growth and prosperity, sustainable management of land is key. Let's look at a few facts and figures. Forests cover 31% of the land area on our planet. They produce vital oxygen and provide homes for people and wildlife. Many of the world's most threatened and endangered animals live in forests. And 1.6 billion people rely on benefits forests offer, including food, fresh water, clothing, traditional medicines, and shelter. But forests around the world are under threat of from deforestation, despite the fact that deforestation is slowing down. We are losing 18.7 million acres of forest annually, the equivalent of 27 football fields every minute. Forests play a critical role in mitigating climate change because they act as a carbon sink. It is estimated that 15% of all greenhouse gas emissions are the resu result of deforestation. Deforestation is a particular concern in tropical rainforests because these forests are home to much of the world's biodiversity. According to the Red List Index, Biodiversity loss is reaching an alarming rate. It is difficult to know exactly are there are great uncertainties on the number of species, but experts estimate that 10,000 species go extinct each year. The planet has lots, lost 52% of its biodiversity. We have lost 39% of terrestrial wildlife. The goal, of S the goal of SDG 15 is to preserve diverse forms of life on land and restore and promote the conservation and sustainable use of terrestrial and other ecosystems. To achieve these goals, nine targets have been defined. As you can see, they focus, they focus specifically on managing forests sustainably, restoring degraded lands and successfully combating desertification, reducing degraded natural habitats and ending biodiversity loss. Business and ecosystems are directly linked. Companies affect ecosystems and they greatly rely on natural resources. Therefore, SDG 15 should be a key concern for all companies. There are many ways in which, in which business can contribute this, to this SDG. For example, measuring, managing, and mitigating impacts on ecosystems and natural resources, scaling up best practices for land use, planning, and management, financing the restoration of degraded land, committing and implementing to responsible sourcing practices, foster product and technology innovation to optimize resource efficiency, reduce impact on ecosystems, and lower carbon emission. And they can scale up industrial reuse of water and other natural resources. To talk about the SDG 15 Life on Land, we have invited Rémi Pierre Lapran, CSR Project Manager at Maison du Monde. Rémi Pierre, welcome. Thank you, Céline. Thank you for welcoming me today at Audencia. Maison du Monde is a French furniture and home decor company founded in 1996. It has more than 300 shops in seven countries and approximately 7,000 employees. 
It has a well-developed CSR strategy, which is fully embedded in its business model. Uh, at Maison du Monde, you have committed to several SDGs, but today we will talk about one specific SDG, SDG 15, Life on Land, and which is about natural resources. So, Rémi Pierre, could you tell us why SDG 15 is relevant for you at Maison du Monde? Yeah, uh, SDG 15 is very important for us because as a uh, designer and retailer of furniture product, wood is the most important natural resource we use. And wood and forests are the heart of uh, SDG 15 and are the heart of precious ecosystems all over the planet that need to be preserved. And so we've been working on the sustainable sourcing of wood for several years now. Uh, and it goes through the certification of the wood we use, uh, with the uh, FSC and PEFC certifications, that are the two main import, the most important certification bodies uh, regarding wood products, and through the uh, traci traceability programs that we can set with NGOs to ensure that the, the products we use do not contribute to deforestation. So concretely, how do you address the SDGs? How do you do it? So we see the SDGs as a, a guidance, a, a global framework, a common uh, language that is shared with, uh, by all stakeholders that uh, gives us the vision and the objectives that we need to achieve. But uh, we did not wait for the SDGs to be drafted by the uh, United Nations to set up programs to, um, to preserve life on land and to reduce our impact as much as possible. And today we say that we work on two, uh, two different legs. On the one hand, we have the, uh, the work we do on the products that we sell. So that's the certification of the wood we use to ensure that the forest it's coming from are managed sustainably. Uh, it's the traceability that we do uh, in India, for example, where the certification schemes do not exist. And on the other hand, we, um, we act with our ph uh, philanthropic activities. Uh, we, do, we do have at Maison du Monde a, a corporate foundation that has been created a few years ago and that uh, supports uh, every year NGOs working on field to act against deforestation. And it's directly funded by the company. Uh, a share of our global turnover is uh, used to fund the uh, Maison du Monde Foundation. Uh, and that's how we work and when we look at the objectives that we have to improve, to increase the products that we sell that are sourced from uh, sustainable sources, we see it fits perfectly with the SDG 15 that act, uh, requires to promote sustainable management of forests, uh, promote the uh, bio, uh, preservation of biodiversity, uh, to halt deforestation. Can you do it on your own? Do, does it, do you have to involve many stakeholders or many actors to, to try to reach or achieve the SDG 15? Yeah, it's hard to, to say that we can do it on, on our own. We're not going to uh, preserve life on land just by our activity. Um, but even when we are looking at our level of responsibility, we cannot do it alone. Uh, we're talking about complex supply chains. We design the products in France. They are made uh, all over the world by our suppliers. Um, and so we have to work with our suppliers. We have to, to develop the products. We have to work with our suppliers' suppliers, and etc. along the supply chain up to the forest to ensure that the forest where the, the trees were cut are managed, for, uh, managed sustainably. Um, and we, can, we have to work so with our suppliers, but also with certification bodies, with NGOs, that will certify that the um, uh, sustainability and the traceability chain is, uh, is, uh, is uh, strong and validated. And, so, and we need to work also with experts. Uh, we know our job, we do our job pretty good, but our job is to design products and to sell products. We are retailers and uh, we need to work with experts on deforestation, to experts on bio, with experts on biodiversity. That's also what we do with the Maison du Monde Foundation. Mm -hmm. Maybe one of the key questions here is, 
how do you assess the impact that you have on the SDG 15? So how do you evaluate it? Mm, that's really the main challenge, I would say, for our company. I don't know for other companies, but for us, that's really the, the main challenge. Um, SDGs, when you look at them, when you read the targets, uh, they are not set for companies. They are not made only for companies, and the uh, objectives and targets are pretty generic. They would say, uh, they say SDG 15 by 2020, um, promote sustainable management of forest by 2020, halt deforestation. Okay, that's a good objective, but how do we achieve it and how do we assess the impact of our, on, of our activity on this, uh, this objective? That's really the key, um, the key thing is to define the good indicators. We do have our own indicators to measure the uh, contribution to the SDGs, uh, to the uh, contribution to SDGs, but the, um, it would be like the uh, number of products that are sourced from sustainable uh, sources. We, we know that we have 56% of our products today that are sourced from certified supply chains. But that's not enough to measure the impact on the SDG. And how do you measure uh, such thing as your contribution to the preservation of biodiversity, uh, the impact of your programs on uh, people living from the forests or living in the forests? That's a very complex issue. Mm -hmm. So an important work of translation, how to go from the SDG to your impact and measure it and report on those measures. Yeah. Is there any other challenges that you are facing with this SDG? Yeah, I would say the second most important challenge is the communication. Uh, is how to, do you explain the sustainable development goals to your internal and external stakeholders when you already face challenges to explain what is CSR, to explain the actions you're doing, and um, how do you... SDG is supposed to be a, a common language shared by everyone, but it's really not known by, the, by, by our customers or by all uh, citizens. So there's an uh, explanation and communication work that needs to be done. Uh, so it does not look like another layer added by um, uh, an, an administration to say, OK, we have to go there. But uh, what do you do as a company? Mm -hmm. So two important challenges here. Measurement, how do we measure it? And communication, how do we communicate about this SDG to be understood by everyone, yeah. all the stakeholders? Do you have any final comments that you want to share with us? Yeah, I would say that um, we said that it's complex to adapt the, your indicators to the SDGs, that SDGs are not known by everyone, but I still really believe that it's a, uh, it is a strong framework. It has been defined by the UN, so it gives you the credibility to uh, defend the practices, the responsible practices of companies, to uh, defend them from uh, when you're talking to all stakeholders to explain that the job you're doing, the practices you're setting are going towards uh, the right direction uh, to achieve these goals that are shared by everyone. Mm -hmm. Rémi Pierre, thank you very much for sharing your knowledge and experience with the SDG 15. Thank you. Well, thank you very much.